Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Sheridan Nichols, and today we are talking with Adam Dean, and he is going to tell us something that's going on for our young people that includes some golf and just some building of self-confidence, it sounds like. Now, you are with the first tee of the Tri-Cities, and you're located, or I guess maybe office headquarters are at Steel Creek. Yes, that's correct. But, you know, as you were telling me right before we started that um, you service nine um, golfing we do have we do have nine facilities that okay. we uh, that we travel to in the Tri Cities. Um, we go all the way down to Greenville, Tennessee, and all the way up to Abingdon, Virginia. Uh, so in that span, we can probably see about uh, 100 to 200 kids per year. Wow! Uh, so we do get uh, a chance to to work with a lot of juniors. Well, since you haven't been on before, tell us first about the program. Well, the first tee is a national program. Uh, and it's designed to uh, impact core values into the lives of children through the game of golf. So we teach them things like honor, integrity, integrity, respect, sportsmanship, judgment, perseverance, confidence, responsibility. Uh, we teach these values through the game of golf in a seamless integration. And it's co-ed, boys, girls. What are the, what's the age uh, range? Seven to 17. Okay. And uh, we normally have about 40% um, girls, which is uh, very good numbers. Girl power. Yeah, exactly. That's great. Mm -hmm. So now you've been with the organization for a year? Yeah, not quite a year. Started in January. Okay. Um, and uh, I'm really sort of new to the, the organization, but uh, before that I did do a lot of private lessons. So I've got experience uh, in the game of golf uh, through that. Um, but with the organization, there's a lot to learn. It's a different style of teaching. Mm -hmm. So I've been through some training and, um, you know, really, uh, really kind of opened my eyes to a different way of teaching. So uh, tell me about that. What is the different way? Um, so the, the thing is you have to be seamless with your integration. Um, so they have to uh, be taught a core value and not know that they're being taught a core value. Oh, okay. So uh, you have to do certain types of games and activities uh, that reinforce the core value that you're trying to get across. Okay, can you give me an example? You know, one, one thing that we might do is ha have a game uh, where we display sportsmanship. So um, an example of that is speed golf. So the sportsmanship idea is that we need to, to play quickly so that the groups behind us uh, don't get mad at us. Okay. So we're, we're displaying sportsmanship through that game. Great. Well, that's neat. So now um, there's a big program this summer mm -hmm. that if you've got someone at home that's ages 7 to 17 could potentially participate in this, right? That's correct, uh, although they do need to get signed up quickly because we are I'm running sure. out of room. Yeah. So where, what is this called? What's going on this summer? Okay, so it's just the first tee program. There are five different levels of the program. Mm -hmm. uh, each participant starts in the player level and they progress to uh, par, then birdie, then eagle, then ace. So uh, we like to have them between the ages of 7 and 17 as long as we can. Uh, we don't rest them through each level. In mm -hmm. other words, we don't pass them each each time. So we want to have them for one or two years in each level if we can. And is it a, something that they do all summer or is it like one specific week or? Uh, it's an eight week program okay. and we have them for an hour and a half each week. Wow. Um, so we, we normally get, uh, you know, about 12 hours per, uh, per season and we do have spring, summer and fall seasons. That's great. And how do we find out about this? You can go to our website at thefirstttricities.org Okay. And uh, all of our information is on that website. And it, how much does it cost? It's only $65 per season, um, but we do have scholarships available if it's something that you can afford. Uh, we never turn anyone away because of uh, money or anything like that. Uh, like I said, we are a nonprofit. We are a charitable organization. So um, if you want f more information on scholarships, just visit our website or contact me. Well, and obviously you know the game of golf really well, having been a pro and, and being involved in this. Why do you think it's something that, you know, we should put our youth in? And Well, the game of golf is inherently um, honorable. Mm -hmm. And uh, in order to, to play the game and get as much as you can out of the game, then you have to have the core values in the first place. Uh, so it, it's really a reinforcement of the things that we want to see in our society. Absolutely not some of these other, you know, sporting events where we've got parents out on the field with the refs and well, all this yeah, kind of stuff. We don't, we don't, we don't want to teach that yeah, with this yeah. program. Not that other sports are not good for that, but golf is, you know, golf is yeah, really absolutely. tailor made for that. Yeah, yeah and it's nice cuz it's an individual <coughs> sport and I think it's great that you've got the different levels so that they can work up towards something and yeah, and could. maybe not feel so rushed and so much pressure. Right, and it, that's the whole thing. There's no pressure in it. Um, it's not a pass fail type of thing. It's a, mm -hmm. a try or retry. So we don't, uh, we don't make it seem like a test. It's something where it's a learning process along the way and you can graduate as you go. 
All righty. Well, thank you so much for being here today, Adam. And thank you for watching. And we will be back in just a moment.